Hi. In this video, the three-phase inverter-fed induction motor drive is simulated using MATLAB for both 180-degree conduction mode as well sinusoidal PWM. First, the converter topology is built with Simscape and specialized power system components. A three-phase resistive load is used to verify the functionality of the three-phase inverter circuit before going to connect the three-phase induction motor. The six pulses are used to operate the inverter, and pulse parameters are set to produce a 50 Hz voltage waveform at 180 degree conduction mode. Simulation parameters are set for the simulation. Stop time is set as 0.1 seconds to observe 5 cycles. ODE23TB is used as a solver and 0.5 microseconds is used as the maximum step size to run the simulation. Gate pulses, 3-phase voltage and current waveforms are measured and verified through the scope. To save the results for result analysis, the display format is changed using the style format option available in the scope parameters. In 180 degree conduction mode, the RMS value of the inverter is found 80.84 volts for 100 volts DC. It gives a ratio of 0 0.8084. To produce 400 volts AC, 500 volts DC is set on the input. 5.4 HP 400 volt 14 third RPM 50 Hertz three phase induction motor is used in the simulation. The rated torque and current values for the motor are calculated in the MATLAB command window with the assumption of lossless power conversion. The current value is calculated as 10 amps and the torque value is 25 new meters. The torque and speed response are measured using scope. To achieve the VF speed control of the three-phase induction motor, the inverter is operated by applying sinusoidal PWM signals. The two-level PWM signal block is taken and the multiplexed PWM signals are split and given to the power MOSFETs. First, the rated voltage and frequency are set by utilizing the internally generated PWM options, and the torque speed responses are monitored through the scope. 
Then voltage and frequency are adjusted to 50% of their rated value by adjusting the reference signal, and the corresponding torque speed responses are monitored in the scope. Thanks for watching the video and use the link to download the Simulink file. Subscribe to the channel for more similar videos.